Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Hip Kit Club design team, and it is product focus day. I am going to be working with the or parts of the February 2021 kits here. Uh, I we still have not received our kits. I know y'all have seen Kimberly's uh, shipping update for everyone's kits. I received some printables for the exclusive collection in this month's kit. Uh, kits I should say. They're uh, designed by Kim Watson and Kimberly Hutchison and this collection is absolutely beautiful. So the products that I'm going to be working with today are all found uh, in the embellishment kit. So I'll be working with the die cut tags, the die cut phrases, as well as to the right on my screen are the mixed media watercolor pieces. Now in the actual kit, so those watercolor pieces come on clear sticker paper. I unfortunately ran out of the, my clear sticker paper I only have labels. I don't have my um, like full sheets. So I just printed them on white sticker paper and then I cut them or fussy cut them out. Now I'm just showing y'all here the things that I've already fussy cut and had prepped for this layout. I did choose those three tags there that you see on my desk and I prepped them with um, some eyelets and some ribbons from my stash just to add some extra texture because everything that I'm working with are all printables. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, kind of throw in, you know, additional texture. So uh, yeah, so these kits are uh, part exclusive, part with Pink Fresh Studio, Simple Stories, and then I believe there are a few elements by Echo Park. So we are getting a wide variety of products and I hope you guys are gonna be super excited uh, to see your kits here shortly. I know they're working very hard to find out about the Pink Fresh Studio shipment that was coming from Houston. I'm not, I'm, I'm sure y'all have seen, um, I live in Louisiana and Houston's about five hours away. So we experienced about a week of snow and ice and just horrible weather. Uh, everything basically shut down. My kids are still out of school. Today's Monday. Um, they don't return until tomorrow. So it's just been absolute madness and uh, it's just very heartbreaking what's you know happening down in Texas. We uh, were very fortunate to only lose power for an hour. Uh, so I know a lot of other people were not as lucky. So anyways, I am so happy to be working with these printables so you guys can get excited about your kits that will be shipping to you as soon as they can uh, get everything together and out the door to y'all. So yeah, so I prepped, like I said, those tags. I fussy cut some of those watercolor, like mixed media pieces, and I'm just layering everything up. I am distressing some edges. I printed out some of the pocket life card uh, cards, and I'm sorry if you can hear my puppy, um, just to layer uh, behind my photos. But I really focused on, you know, what our prompt was today, it was those die cut phrases, the uh, mixed media stickers, as well as the die cut tags. Um, you could see all those hearts on the top left. Those were also part of the, uh, I think they were the, yeah, they're part of the die cut phrases. And I just took a three quarter inch punch and punched those out. I did fussy cut a few of the other hearts. Um, and that way they were prepped and ready so I can layer them on to my page. Now I am a sucker for labels. I love labels. I love using them as layering pieces. I love to tuck them um, you know, underneath my photos, I like to chop them in half so I can stretch them and just, you know, put them wherever I can. And that's basically what I did here is I use those labels as well as those mixed media stickers to layer up and create, uh, you know, just interest and, you know, just fun layer, I guess, layers. <laughs> so the title that I've chosen today is from one of the die cut phrases. I mixed two words. I created happy memories. These three photos are of my oldest son, Noah. This was when we still lived in uh, Orange County, um, out in California. Our favorite thing to do was uh, him and I would always go down to the Irvine Spectrum and I'd let him play in the water fountains and we'd get McDonald's and we'd just sit and enjoy the sun. And Elijah was like a baby, so he would be in his stroller and he couldn't play in the fountains yet. But that was like our, our thing to do and we just had so much fun. So it was I was like super excited when I was going through the collection trying to, you know, find some photos. I saw these uh, and thought that I could layer up the three tags from the um, tag set. And I love how they turned out. And because uh, it was a sunshiny day, the, the, you know, the, the colors in the photo are, you know, bright and happy. And so was this collection. So I had so much fun with it. I can't wait for y'all to get your kits. Um, I can't wait to get mine too because, you know, just getting a little glimpse of it using the exclusives. I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> and I can't wait to play with these mixed media stickers um, 
in person, you know, the clear ones. So yeah, you can just see me. I am just layering up those um, little paint stickers. And at first I, I left like a white border around, you know, the paint. Um, but then I went and took off the white border and I love how it turned out. So it'll be very similar to the clear ones that we are getting. They are great layering pieces and you can build off of them. And so if you want a mixed media look, but maybe you don't want to fuss with your paints or you don't have any in your stash, these are a great substitute and they're super fun. So that's, this is basically just a process of me fussing and like trying to figure out where I wanted things to go. I do add a lot of foam to everything to make sure that I have a lot of dimension and layers and I love foam. I will pop anything up on foam. I'm not, I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid of it. I don't mind the dimension. I know my albums get really thick. Um, I just like popping things up on foam. So I did add in an, another uh, die cut phrase. It says so much fun. I am going to be adding those little heart um, pieces there. Uh, yeah, but I just love the colors of this page. It was it was a lot of fun and it was it was kind of fun to challenge myself just to use the printables that I did have. So um, that's why I did add in some staples as well as the ribbon. You know, like I said, I think I said that was just to add another layer of texture. I do add some tangled thread also to add um, something different other than, you know, just the paper. I did think about going in with some Nouveau drops after I was done, but I thought um, I would just kind of stick to you know, just the printables or like the paper that I used. And um, yeah, I'm super pleased with how it came out. So yeah, if, if you do um, have this collection or what, well, not if you do, I'm sorry, when you do get your kits, uh, you know, try to pop things up on foam if you have to, if you have any on hand um, and it just creates some interest and it like kind of breaks up everything in my opinion. All right, so I'm just adding some of these floral um, pieces that I got from the uh, other ephemera pack that is also in the embellishment kit and I of course I love florals so when I saw them I was like okay I have to add some kind of floral onto my page and it kind of brought everything together I have a hard time creating layouts without florals because I just think I don't know and I know this is a boy page but I don't I don't care <laughs> the boys are fine with the pinks and the uh, pinks and the purples and all the flowers on their pages they don't care um yeah so I'm just adding some of these little punched out hearts or circle hearts just to add more color and to spread you know just to make sure I have full coverage of certain colors around um, my layout and then I thought I could add a little embellishment cluster up here I added another one of those mixed media stickers and then a label and then I'm just going to trim it off here and then I do add one another little die cut phrase to the top with some staples and a little heart just to kind of follow you know through with the you know the colors up at the top as well just to make your eyes travel around the page and to make sure everything, you know, is not, you know, one color heavy on a, on a certain part of my page. But that's about it. I don't think I do too much after this. Um, stay tuned for some final photos and some um, up close shots. I had a lot of fun with uh, these printables and showing y'all what you can look forward to when your February kits arrive. I hope you guys stay excited. I can't wait to see what you create. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more inspiration from the design team as we start getting our kits hopefully in the next week or so i'm not too sure um but yeah if you have any questions about it just i know kimberly is awesome at updating everybody in the facebook group so yeah here is uh, a final photo of my layout i had so much fun with this so yeah thank you guys so much for sticking in there and um, watching my process and we'll see you in the next one bye